Time now for Eyewitness News. Call 12 Fraction. When a local business owner noticed double charges from the state for her sales tax and payroll tax, she called us to get some answers. Eyewitness News consumer reporter Susan Campbell joins us now with what she's learned. Bank records show that double charging happened two months in a row, and the business owner tells me she's still waiting for that money to be returned. Candace Barber has a store full of treasures. The design comes from the ocean. Like many small businesses, the profit margin is tight. So Candace noticed right away when there were two identical debits from her account in February for Rhode Island sales tax. It should have been taken care of in the first month. But it wasn't. Candace says she and her tax preparer tried unsuccessfully to get the money refunded. If they took the money out, why can't they put it back in? It was easy enough to be withdrawn. It should be easy enough to be put back in. Then it happened again in March. Candace showed us her bank records. You can see a double debit for sales tax and a double debit for payroll tax. When something like that happens, that takes away from another expense that you were going to pay. I checked with the Rhode Island Division of Taxation. A spokesperson for the agency told me the taxpayer matter you raised is not related to the Division of Taxation. If we were to discuss the error any further, we would risk breaching state statutes that protect taxpayer confidentiality. I spoke with Candace's tax preparer. She says the state told her she must have mistakenly entered information twice. She said she wouldn't have made the same mistake two months in a row, and she told me she has two other clients who were also double charged for their taxes. A spokesperson for the Division of Taxation told me they have no record of any other double charging issues, but said the division is happy to discuss them with the tax preparer. If you have a consumer problem you need help solving, contact our Call 12 for Action Center Monday through Thursday from 11 until 1. Our hotline is 228-1850. I'm Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.